Hey folks, good to see you. Well, it's a Sunday, uh, still morning here in the Pacific Northwest. we got some high winds coming in a little bit later in the day today. Winds from the north, interesting flight mechanics, definitely still some stratus clouds out there. I'm uh, still only flying sims for the moment uh, as we're working through some things here. Um, I'll get out in the uh, real world soon enough, but that's no excuse not to stay current and proficient with IFR. I think we're looking at a check ride date coming up here at the end of February, so I've got about uh, three weeks to uh, stay sharp, and we're going to use everything we've got today with Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to be doing as much of a check ride mock check as we possibly can. We'll be flying uh, three airports, Boeing Field, Bremerton, and Tacoma Narrows. And I'll show you the configuration. It's a little unique because of the wind conditions today. And I also learned a couple of things from the instrument ACS, that's the Airman Certification Standards, appendices that are fully published by the FAA that give you insight as to how the examination has to be performed. And so let me let me pop over there for just a second. We're going to go to our Chrome browser, and I just wanted to show you here the instrument rating airplane certification standards from the FAA. Yes, indeed, this is the most recent version of these. Um, it seems like it's been a long time, but there you go. Now, in Appendix 7, Aircraft Equipment Operational Requirements, Let's scroll down here. Non-precision approach, a couple things I want you to see here. The applicant must accomplish at least two non-precision approaches. We know that, right? But here's one of the other things that I didn't know. Um, you must use two different types of navigational aids. That's interesting. Didn't know that. Um, one must include a procedure turn. Okay, we can do that. We're not using any TAA procedures um, where we're at. And if you use an LPV, uh, approach in GPS actually it turns it is considered a precision if the height above touchdown is equal to or less than 300 feet so sometimes an LPV approach GPS is a precision sometimes it is a non-precision because of this um, I needed to set up my uh, approaches today the three approaches, two non-precision, one precision, one of them has to be circling, we know that, and one's got to be done with um, partial panel, which we can simulate. But because, if we look at KBFI, we're taking off from today, the weather is zero, 040 zero at four knots, we have north flow traffic. What we want to do is we're going to head up north, we're going to catch the... Um, the Bremerton Localizer Runway 20, not the ILS. We're going to use Localizer, and that's a non-precision approach type. We have to do a procedure turn, so we'll ask for it to start at Wumox. We'll go outbound, procedure turn, come back in, we'll fly loc circling. We're going to be circling minimums because we're going to circle 02 because the wind's from the north, right? So we'll come down to a MDA of 12, 1,200. One mile, if we can see the runway, we're at the circling minimum is 1,200. One mile from the field, we'll deflect off to the left because it's right pattern zero two. Deflect off to the left, right, right, right. We'll do a touch and go zero two, and then fly the mist um, out to Caro. Fly the mist out to Caro. We'll fly that on green needles. We'll, um, excuse me, Caro's right there. We'll fly it on green needles, and we'll do one hold over the Cairo intersection, so that's your green needles hold, one minute legs, right? Then we'll pick up the RNAV runway 02, and as you can see here, the LPVDA is greater than 300, uh, 300 feet, so it's not considered a precision approach. We can just fly um, LNAV MDA down to 1160 straight in approach. We're flying that RNAV straight in runway to uh, 02. We'll do another touch and go. We'll go missed. And on the way back, we're actually going to pick up the IL, uh, the RNAV runway 35 into Tacoma starting at FISAS. And we will fly that LPV. And that does count as a precision because the height above touchdown is 266, which is less than 300. So uh, that'll give us two non-precision, one of them is circling, and a precision. And it's all very efficient because we're not having to 
jog back and forth. We're trying to stay in the flow here. The reason I didn't go back to KBFI is because if it's northbound, it really takes a long time to set up for those precision approaches at KBFI. you got to go way out south here because you're uh, having to be really careful about Seattle traffic that's coming in. So um, to avoid that, we're going to stay west of the entire area, and we'll finish this flight at Tacoma Narrows. Um, you know, in the real world, we would just then fly VFR back to Boeing Field after we were done. I don't need to simulate that. You don't need to see it. Um, but we've got lots lots to do here, lots to keep us busy. So um, just going back to this, um, very basically here was the plan again. KBFI departure, KPWT localizer, 2-0 starting at Woomox, we must do procedure turn, circle 0-2, touch and go, then missed on green needles to hold the caro for one turn, VOR hold one minute legs on green needles, then we ask for the KPWT RNAV 0-2, LNAV 0-2, we'll fly to LNAV minimums, uh, touch and go, then missed on magenta needles, then ask for KTIW runway no RNAV 3-5 starting at face us, LPV minimums, um, that counts as precision, and then full stop. And that's it. So let me go ahead and just plug a couple of things in here. We we heard what we were going to do. K B F I eh, K B F I K P W T Procedure departure. We're probably gonna get the Cobain one for North Flow and procedure approach to KBWT, Loke runway two zero starting at Woomox. Alright. It's good, we're loaded there. KBFI is here. Airport departure. Cobain 1, approach. Loke runway 20. Alright. Tablet's ready to go. Let's get uh, over to file our flight plan. We'll file our initial flight plan and then we'll just be asking them for to sort of amend it as we go. We'll let them know how all of our approaches terminate so they can expect what's going on. Uh, KPWT, cruising altitude, we'll make it, uh, we'll make it 4,000. Let's see if that's reasonable. Yeah, because we got to cross Woomox at 3,500, so we'll call it 4,000. The alternate airport is KBFI because it's currently, it's currently VFR, so that's good. And we'll call route of flight direct, IFR, me, 172, 115, KBFI, PWT, 4000, KBFI, direct. All right, we're filed. Connect up. Pilot edge connected. Great. And let's get into the game. I say game, I mean really, really professional simulator, obviously. And we'll pop the tablet up just so that you can stay with me as we get rolling here. Close, craft, maps, plates, airport. All right. And we're using our Octavi IFR-1 today. That's going to be our uh, handy-dandy little uh, multi-input G1000 widget down here. I think it's really a, a fun a fun and easy to use tool it really helps me out a lot there's a video you can watch to get a little bit more about how that works all right so let's see go ahead com one here we want to clearance delivery 132.4 uh, all right phoenix is and I'll go ahead and set one two. Stop one, 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 Roger, here. runway eight. Correction. Two. Clear visual approach, runway eight. One two one point five. Clear visual approach, runway eight. Southwest uh, twenty two. Correction. Thirty three sixty five. And one two seven seven five. FedEx three twenty one, Boise Tower, runway one zero left. Winds one four zero at one three. Clear for takeoff. Visual approaches in use. Copy winds. Clear for takeoff. Simultaneous approaches one, between Boeing Field uh, and FedEx. Seattle International. Expect aircraft above you on final. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, India. India. Boeing King County Airport. ATIS information, India. 1753 Zulu. Wind 020 at 4. Visibility 10. 1200 scattered. Ceiling 3300 overcast. Temperature 8. Dew point 4. Altimeter 29 or 9 or 6. Arriving and parting runways 32 left, 32 right. Visual approaches in use. Simultaneous approaches between Boeing Field and Seattle International. Expect aircraft above you on final. Alright, and we'll put COM1 back on. 
We'll make to come one. We got one three two point four there. Phoenix Tower, and let's see. Let's go inside a barrel real quick. Two nine or nine or Southwest six. Southwest thirty two six five. Phoenix Tower, runway eight. Clear okay, land. We're set there, and as we learn, it does not change the backup. There we go. Now the backup is set. And let's go ahead and call for our clearance. Boeing clearance delivery, good day. Skyhawk number 6378. Mike looking to pick up our IFR to Bremerton. Skyhawk 63, Mike, Roger, stand by. All Actually, right. uh, Skyhawk 78, Mike, I don't have anything in the system, so just your refile. We'll refile, 78, Mike. Maybe it was, maybe I filed it, uh, VFR, 6378, Mike, Cessna 172, slash G, 115, KBFI to KPWT, cruising on. Boise Tower, FedEx, uh, 321, 4000, climbing 16000. Direct. IFR number. FedEx 321, contact departure. Over to departure, 321. Departure FedEx 321, climbing uh, 5,000, climbing 1, 6,000. FedEx 321, Boise, air crash in Big Sky, the radar contact. Boeing clearance delivery, new Skyhawk 6378. Mike, we have refiled and looking to pick up our IFR to Bremerton. Skyhawk 78, Mike, Roger, stand by. everything else is good fuel full pressure I'll go ahead and pull that mixture down a little bit just so we don't kill our spark plugs while we're sitting here wait uh, meanwhile we'll hit transponder and I'll turn alt mode on there you go that feels good and what else do we need to do here trip set for takeoff yeah flaps are up yeah Oakland Tower, Walker 2469, holding short, 10 left, fully ready. Devices on. There we go. Southwest 496, descend and maintain 4000, fly heading 120. We'll fly at 120 to 4000, Southwest 496. Southwest 490 discretion, descend and maintain 5,000 instead. What about the descend and maintain 5,000, Southwest 496? We're just waiting here, chilling. Got a clearance delivery here, ground. Guard and to weather, which you know what, I can change the weather to Bremerton weather. August 2489, Oakland Tower, runway 10 left, clear for takeoff. 10 left, clear for takeoff, August 2489. There we go, that'll be useful. Keep doing things, keep doing things, keep thinking ahead. 3 2 left, we know we got to set the heading bug, so let's do that. FedEx 321 contact, Salt Lake Center 128.72. 13872, uh, Confirm 12828.72. 12872, thank you. Southwest 496, Friday 170, Dresden Runway 100 left localizer. Southwest 
Southwest 496 affirmative, start a right turn heading 190, join localizer. FedEx 321, Salt Lake Center, thank you. Climb and maintain flight level 340, Boise altimeter 2999. FedEx 321, when able proceed direct seal. I may just check in with them again. Southwest 496, uh, six miles from Berks, maintain 5,000 until established localized, cleared ILS, runway 1 and our left approach. Cleared ILS approach, uh, runway 1 and left, Southwest 496. Boeing clearance to Rilla, Varese, Skyhawk number 6378, Mike's looking to pick up our IFR to Bremerton. Yeah, give me 30 more seconds. August 2489, contact North Carolina departure. Oops, North Carolina departure, August 2489. All good. Southwest 3355, taxi terminal via Sierra Delta, monitor the ground, have a wonderful day. Busy day. Sierra Delta, and we'll monitor ground, Southwest 3355, see you. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that range out. Southwest 496, contact San Francisco, tower. Over to tower, Southwest 496. There's 6378 Mike, Boeing clearance, just to confirm you look for IFR to Bremerton. 78 Mike, affirmative, IFR to Bremerton. Roger. No, Carter, 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 2489. 1,500 climbing by the city except maintain 3,000. Welcome 2489 North Carolina departure, radar contact, climbing maintain uh, 7,000. Climbing maintain 7,000, talking to us now. Walker 2489, I'm in the altitude, climb via SID, except maintain flight level 100. Oh, climb via SID, except maintain 190. This is the longest delay I've ever had. Not in the real world, I've had a lot of long South delays. Southwest Deferno 6 to San Francisco Tower, hello, uh, we are now just establishing Ellis Barge 1 and West. Southwest 496, San Francisco Tower, good morning, runway 1 and our left, clear to land. Clear to land, 1 and left, Southwest 496. Clear 66, Papa Bravo, descent on positive gush, maintain 8,000, Monterey, altimeter 2945. Well, it's discussion to 8,000, 6 Papa Bravo. Let's see, what else can we do here? Well, we can set up our flight plan. FMS 2, flight plan, click, origin, K, B, F, I. Enter. No, it's 3-2 left. Destination. K. P. There's 6378 Mike. Clear to Bremerton Airport. C-Bane 1 departure to C-Bane. Direct Wumox. Direct. Uh, maintain. Correction. Columbia SID. Expect 4,000 one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 120.4, squawk 5444. Clear to the Bremerton Airport, Cobain 1 departure, direct Cobain, then direct Wumox. Uh, climb via the SID. Expect 4,000 one zero minutes after departure. Frequency 120.4, squawk 5444. 4, 7, 8, Mike. Clear 7, 8, Mike. Read back. Correct. Thanks for your patience. Thank you. 70 Mike. Southwest 555, contact Los Angeles Center, 133.2. 
Alright, so we'll do... Our Niner Zero Yankee, contact North Caliper 127.4. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we'll hit that, then we'll hit proc, and we'll go select Air 2 four correction. Niner, Yankee, contact North Caliper to 120.9, correction, 127.4. Cool. And then we know that we want to ask for proc select approach. Uh, we want the ILS to zero, but we'll fly it as a localizer, and we want to ask to start... Norcal approach, Cessna 2490 Yankee, level 5000. That's odd. That isn't right. For 2490 okay. Yankee, Norcal approach, capital altimeter 2957. Understand you're looking for the ILS for only 35 left approach. 2957 and affirmative, 90 Yankee. Select approach, ILS 20. Woomox. Our Niner Zero Yankees, Cinepass, Wisconsin, maintain 2000. Expect the approach from Almac. Destination we'll set, Okay, discretion to uh, 2000, and we'll expect Almac. Circling minimum uh, 1200. Oh, F. I pressed the wrong button. Southwest 496, then check. Southwest 496, wind 120 at 23-32. Oh. Yes. All right. All right, so that looks good. Squawker 2489, contact North Caliper to 121.4. And we're going to set top altitude 8 to 2100. Squawker 2489, sorry, I was off a digit. 121.3. 2100, and heading 315. For 6 Papa Bravo, contact North Caliper to 135.1. And transponder, we're going to set code. 135.1 for 6 Papa Bravo. 5444. 5444. Four, four, four. All right. We squawking. All right. We've got Barrow. We've got altitude. We've got heading set. We've got transponder squawking. Let's set our. Uh, we don't set our frequency yet because our, our comms are full. Okay, 2489, Nor uh, Caliper. Thank you, Monterey. Altimeter 2945. And then 120.6. This tower, that's next. No cal approach, November 66, Papa Bravo, passing uh, 11,800 for 8,000 with the weather. Hoping to get uh, vectors for RNAV 12, if we could. There's 6 1 Delta contact, Albuquerque Center, 128.45. 4,000. 128.45, and end 261 Delta. There's 66 Papa Bravo, NorCal approach, San Francisco, altimeter 2944, Cinemating 6000, you said ILS, runway 12 approach. Uh, no Cal approach, we're heading for uh, Half Moon Bay and uh, hoping to get our nav 12. And we're down, uh, we'll go down to 6000. While we're waiting here, I'm going to set my nav to. Real quick. 3261 Center, thank you. Prescott altimeter 3015. 3.4, which is the OLM. Boeing ground, good day. Skyhawk number 6378 Mike with information India at Galvin, ready for taxi IFR. 6378 Mike, going ground, runway 32 left, taxi via Alpha. 32 left, taxi via Alpha, 78 Mike. All right. All right, taxi lights on. Three six Papa Bravo, where Brits do you want to start the approach from? Check left, check right. Uh, uh from uh, Fuji. Turn that tablet please, off uh, for a six sec. Papa Bravo. And get out onto the. Get out onto the line here. We got a minute, so let's make sure things are going good as the HAS is changing and the rate of turn indicator is turning the right direction and the ball is going opposite, so that's good. 
And we've got Magenta Kennedy Needles, three, as expected, as correct for, for the uh, Seabain 1 departure. For, uh, runway 12, as we go, we'll talk about the uh, we'll talk about this Walker departure real quick. So we take off runway 32 left, climb heading 315 to 540 feet, then direct across okay, Gen X, at or below 1600, then on track 315 to Kurt, then on track 295 to Seabain, then on track 295 for Vectors to assign route. Right. Fix, maintain 2, 100, or as assigned, ATC, expect clear to file the altitude flight level within three minutes after departure. Uh, so we're actually there. cleared. We're not expecting manual so sequence. We've six already been cleared right past C bay to move on. Continue on Alpha One to the left to join Alpha. Support. And left your choice into Once the game. Once we cross C bay, we are going to go We're direct to, direct to, direct go and, to uh, C bay as part of the SID. Then direct Wilcox. So we do not have to wait for vectors or manual sequencing. We do have to wait for our um, clearance uh, to climb. We'll have to climb via the SID top altitude 2100. We're to expect 4,100 minutes after departure, but we do not need to get radar vectors to go to the front seat. You were supposed to stay on Alpha 1 to the left to join Alpha. You're not, um, you, you are not given a runway crossing, so that should have given you a red flag. Uh, Continue straight ahead, join Mike 1 to Alpha, and uh, cross the runway, obviously, and monitor the ground. Well, didn't see that. I'm very, very sorry. That was not good of me. Uh, we'll uh, continue Mike 1 down to Alpha to the gate, South West 496. Yikes. Rough day there. All right, and we're going 3-2 left. That's all the way down to Alpha 1-1, one, one. Alpha 1-1. One, one. So we're going to keep going that this direction here. We're taxiing a little fast, I'd say. So we'll go ahead and put the brakes on, just tap the brakes a little bit, drop the throttle, slow it down. All right. So anyway, what else do we need to know about this departure? Uh, not a whole lot. Cleared under zero Yankee. Cleared direct Almac. Cross Almac at two thousand. Cleared ILS from my three five left approach. Cleared uh, direct Almac. Cross at two thousand. Cleared ILS. Uh, Last delta is five point. All right. We got an Alpha Niner there off of our right side. So we're going to take a left hand turn. We're going to keep going. For Alpha One One, Alpha One One is going to be uh, going to be that taxiway intersection that's going to take us onto Runway Three Two Left. We're going to go ahead, taxi Runway Three Two Left. We're going to uh, let them know that we are ready for departure. IFR, we'll hold short. We will get the word, Thunderbird. Meanwhile, everything looks healthy on the aircraft here. Fuel flow, pressure, well, fuel flow, plug, yeah, but oil pressure, oil temperature, good. Got enough vac, that's good. Fuel qu quantity nice and full. Plenty of uh, volts on the battery. Positive amps for charging. So, so far, so good. Don't see any enunciators going off. What else do we need to set up? We've got the comm set up the way we want to. Remember, before we, um, I'll go ahead and switch the tower, and then I'm going to put the frequency in the backup and comm one to be our departure frequency. Southwest 653, four. Oakland Center. Good morning. Comms Descend the uh, nav. We've got IPWT, arrival, which is the uh, one, two. Uh, PWT localizer, which we want. There's uh, Alpha 10. Alpha 11's coming up here next. Nice and easy. And then in, in the NAV 2 is going to be the OLM, and the reason that we want that is because that's how we fly the mist. The OLM is uh, the intersection is, um, uh, excuse me, that's a key uh, NAV aid for knowing where we are vis-a-vis. -vis. There's six pop Bravo, uh, turn right heading 360. I'm going to get you to the north side of the six. Uh, I'll be able to get you lower there. I never know what is with this little spinny plane that they always have. I swear it's like supposed to be a beacon of some kind or something. I don't know what it's about. It is a little disturbing, don't you think? And we're on our way to hold short runway 32 left at Alpha 1-1. One, one. There's 61 Delta contact, Los Angeles Center, 134.65. Right. If you can't read approaching yet, runway 32 left. All right, there you go. Keep those brakes on. Put that RPM up just to make sure that we don't 
start the engine out. Let's make sure that we're giving some good charge to the the batteries and we're not sitting at idle too long. All right, Peter Heat's on. We're good there. Let me go ahead and switch over. So we're going to do two things. We're going to switch COM1 to 120.6, which is the tower, and we're going to set 120.4, which is the departure frequency. There you go. See? All set just like that. And I'll go ahead and uh, turn the tablet off for a second. Boeing Tower, good day. Skyhawk number 6378, Mike. Runway 32 left at Alpha 11, ready for departure, IFR. 3637, Mike. Boeing Tower, runway 32 left, clear for takeoff. 32 left, clear for takeoff, 78 Mike. All right, lights landing and strobes are on. Camera, we're squawking 5444 with all Bravo, Action, mixture full rich. Go ahead and take 3, that. 100, Go ahead and take 32 left. Approaching runway 32 uh, left. Entered Sorry, runway 32 left. 8,000. And we're looking for, uh, we're gonna look for a takeoff Roger, RPM. Yeah. We're looking for a power set 2,360 at a minimum. We're looking for uh, green on the engine instruments. We're gonna hit 55 and that's rotate for takeoff. We did already check that our takeoff trim is all set. 32 left, that's the runway we're looking for. We're lined up. Tower. We are cleared, so cleared for takeoff, so let's go. All right, takeoff power set. Engine instruments are green. Airspeed is alive. Four hundred zero Yankee Capital Tower, runway three five left, critical on. Fifty five. Runway three five left, engine Yankee. Rotate. Fifty five left, runway three five left, engine Right rudder, right rudder. Ten degrees, pitch up. Aim for seventy four knots. All right, we're setting that trim up, and flying runway, flying heading three one five as prescribed by. The Cobain One departure. And a little more pitch up trim. I swear in the real world the tower is not that tall. It is not that scary. And we're to cross 540 and then on our way to cross Gen X at or below 1600. And we need a little bit more pitch up here. I'm trying to climb at 74 here. All right. And 315, continuing Gen X 1.7 nautical miles. Listen for that switch over to um, departure. Has not happened yet. We're climbing a little bit shallow. And we want to stay at or below 1600 as we climb out here, so climbing a little shallow is not a terrible idea. We're definitely above the minimum climb gradient of uh, below Class Bravo four, above in 1.7. 50 feet per nautical mile. Shoot, I better know what that is. All right, we're going to get there a little fast, so I'm going to go ahead and shallow the climb out. We want to make sure 1,600 at a, at a maximum, 1,600. At or below 1,600. Do not cross 1,600 on our way up, so let's go ahead and put that pitch, pitch down. And we're crossing Gen X. Now to Kurt. Continue climb. 2100 is the top altitude. And since that's all that's set as top altitude, I'll go ahead and activate uh, IAS mode and nav mode and GPS autopilot is engaged. We have autopilot engaged. We have altitude capture. We have nav capture. 2100. We have reached top altitude. San Francisco clearance uh, southwest 8915. It is in formation. Victor, I fire up to Sacramento. All right, there's 2100. We're going to go ahead and bring our, we use our, our cruise checklist, pitch power and trim. We're pitching down. And power 2,400, trimmed out for 2,100 feet. All 
right, half a mile to Kurt. Next is Seabane, and then uh, direct Wumox. And so what we're going to do is while we're while we're flying this there, I'm going to go ahead and look over real quick, and I'm actually going to make a quick edit on FMS2. Click and delete man sequence. I'm actually going to. Sir Six Papa Bravo, turn left, direct Fuji. Direct Fuji, Six Papa Bravo. And hit clear. There's 78 Mike, contact uh, Seattle departure. Contact departure, 78 Mike. Come one, switch. Southwest 8915, San Francisco, clearance, standby. Seattle departure, Skyhawk 6378 Mike, 2,100 feet. Crew 6378 Mike, Seattle departure, rate of contact, climb and maintain 4,000. Climb and maintain 4,000, 6378 Mike. All right, cool. So AP, we're going to go ahead and shift that to 4,000. Uh, that takes a little while. All right. Autopilot off. We'll go ahead and just like this. And full power. Let's aim that for 10 degrees. And we're going to hit direct Cobain, and then we're going direct Wumox. So we're climbing. And we need to just shift a little bit to the right. We're getting that crosswind, 11 knots crosswind, blowing us to the left. All right. 80 knots cruise climb. That's good. IAS mode engaged. FLC engaged at 79 knots. That's fine. That's going to give us like what is that nine degree, nine degree climb uh, pitch, and then Sea Bane direct Wumox. That's as we were instructed. Uh, let's go ahead and use Com Two, and I'm going to go ahead and try to pull the weather for Bremerton. It does not transmit vocally on uh, on Pilot Edge, but I can read it. Uh, wind zero one seven at five. 017 at 5, visibility 10, sky condition few at 17, and 46 broken. Temperature 7, dew point 10. Southwest 89, 15, Niner, 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 uh, Sacramento International Airport, Gap 7 departure to Barton. That's Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango November, direct uh, Concord, Concord to arrival. Uh, maintain correction. Climb via SID, except maintain right. one one thousand. And departure frequency one five point one. Two hundred feet to go. Five one zero two. Fuel flow pressure temperature are good. EGT is good. Vac is good. As we go ahead and round out here, we're going to make sure we establish pitch, power, and trim. So we're going to go ahead and pitch down. We're going to let our speed. Rise up and here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and bring that RPM Bravo down to 2,400. We'll climb, maintain the question of Columbia said, except maintain now. Yeah, we're 8 thousand. miles from Wumox. I'm going to go ahead and request. And I'm going to go ahead and 8, go ahead, speed down a little bit here. I want to go ahead and 2,200, speed down just a little bit. I want to slow down. I don't want to rush here. I know the uh, controllers are really, really busy, so let's just go ahead and pretend that we're running the approach already. Seattle departure, Skyhawk, number 6378, Mike, uh, approach request. Southwest 8915, read back, correct. Number 66, Papa Bravo, cross Fuji at 3100, cleared, are now for only one to approach. Cross Fuji 3100, cleared, are now 12, approach 6 Papa Bravo. Yankee taxi parking via Alpha. Have a wonderful day. We're cleared, Wumox. That's our clearance. Alpha, Nigeria, well, actually, we're cleared direct. We're cleared to the airport after Wumox. Walker 2489, contact Los Angeles Center 133. So our clearance limit is the airport. So if we were doing nothing else, we would just fly from Wumox to the airport at 4,000. 78 Mike, go 78 Mike, we'd like the ILS, uh, excuse me, localizer runway 20 into Bremerton starting at Wumox, uh, and this will terminate with a mist. Seven 
Mike, Mike, are you look first straight in, or I want to do the procedure turn? For training, I'd like to do the procedure turn, please, 70 Mike. Southwest 8915, just looking at the departure here, is going to be, is it going to be vectors after Woodside? There's 7 8 Mike, uh, after correction, cross wheel box at 4000, cleared, I left runway 20 approach, report inbound procedure turn. Cross Wumox 4000, cleared the ILS runway 20, report inbound procedure turn, uh, 7 8 Mike. All right. So now, we're over here, FMS 2, proc, activate approach, enter. There we go. There's Wumox, and then it's going to be that procedure turn. And so we cross Wumox at 4,000, not 3,000, so the top of descent thing is not accurate for us anyway. Um, then the plate tells us that once we're established, so Wumox intersection, we're going to turn left, we're going to go outbound 332, once we're actually out, it looks like outbound 017, we can descend to 3000. That's what it looks like to me, and then once we're inbound 197, we can descend uh, down to 2500. Uh, Alright, we're going a little fast. We're going a little fast for the approach. We're going to go ahead and bring our RPMs down. One thing I did do, I did not lean out the engine. I'll go ahead and do that now. We're going to stay up at this altitude for just a little bit, so we might as well lean it out Double some. There we go. All right, and that's right turn Wumox. And the next thing to talk about is when we're going to go on green needles here. This is uh, we're using the localizer approach, and we're going to fly down to circling minimums. Circling minimums for 1200. Uh, so, yeah, I, th I thought that Woodside was going to be different, but that is actually part of that uh, portion of the departure. So change Barton to read Woodside, and yes, it'll be radar vectors to Concord from Woodside. Alrighty, so just confirm it's still the gap All 7 right. via Barton and then up to Woodside and then vectors from there, confirm. Uh, southwest okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit COM 2 well, actually, and we're going to set Unicom route, 1, 2, yes, 3, oops, route, excuse me, yes, but, uh, 1, 2, 3, the, 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 the uh, routing will read gap 7, Woodside. Okay, we're set then, there. Uh, radar Ooh, vectors, COM uh, 2, uh, we should be monitoring guard. Be, uh, okay, comms are set. After what's set, it's gonna be and right navs are set. We see how nav 2 so got changed to uh, 11110. Let's change that back to 13-4. That's the OLM VOR. I'm gonna go ahead and hit PFD option bearing 2 to nav 2. There we go. That's important. Okay. Alright, we're doing good here. We're, we're, we're outbound on 017. At this point, we can come down to 3000. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and hit AP, set our altitude to 3000. No worries. VS minus 600. There we go. And we're going to bring our RPM down to 1900 as we descend. Make sure that we're not overspeeding the approach here. There we go. Down to 1900. And down we come to 3,000, as indicated on the... Static 321, Seattle Center, thank you. Distant via hood for arrival. Uh, Portland is landing east. Now what we're going to do is, once we turn inbound on the procedure turn here, once we turn inbound on the procedure turn, I'll switch over to green needles, and so we'll intercept uh, the localizer on the final approach course of uh, Static 321, confirm Distant seven. via hood for nine arrival. Seven. So... We'll, uh, we'll make that switch on the CDI and uh, once we're inbound on the procedure turn and we'll discuss how that works. So inbound turn is going to be three, Number it's going to be 152 front coming front back in. Once we establish 152, we'll set the heading bug, change heading mode, switch the CDIs to green needles, then re-establish that mode on the needles to safely. Um, 
the what, request once you get with approach. Um, just I, I need you to actually this, huh? acknowledge to send via. All I'm hearing is via the hood. Um, so I just want to confirm it's altitude. And we're going to set Barrow. To just send via hood for arrival. Two nine or nine or five, and we're going to go ahead and click that down one. There you go. All right, our Barrow is all set there. Our comms are set. Our Barrow is set. Our nav is set. Thanks. And uh, let's see. Okay, proc turn's coming up. It's going to be a left turn. And we're uh, just about to hit 3,000. So as we do that, we're going to go ahead and see pitch up on the autopilot, bring our RPMs back up to 2,100. And as we're down to 3,000, we're going to go ahead and push mixture full rich. Full rich. Okay, that feels pretty good. And let's get our... Heading bug set. To Zulu. Hold short from my ones you're right. Okay, heading Zulu. bug. Uh, okay, and we are, I'll have to hit that again, please, we are outbound. Taxi to one left. It seems like you gave me taxi to one zero right. Front of flight 802, please confirm. Uh, front of flight 802, we are departing east. Um, San Francisco is eastbound, so the injection, the instruction is to taxi to runway one zero left. Let's see here. Yeah, Alpha, Echo, Bravo, Zulu, hold short, runway one zero right at Zulu four. Uh, yes, I know about the east part, but in the start of your previous communication, you told us to one left, but uh, yeah, we disregard that. We taxi to one zero left via Alpha and right. Bravo Zulu and hold short. Now we're inbound right right procedure to turn, to. so we're going to set this heading to, to, to one, two, please five, make sure your transponder's two. on. I don't have your mode C at the time. I'm going to go ahead and hit. Do you have it now? Heading mode. That's Southwest right turn. Now we're going to hit FMS1 CDI to Green Needles. Localizer. Front of flight 802, affirmative, thank you. All right, there we go. Thank you. Localizer is set. Course 197 is already plugged in. We've got IPWT that's reporting there. That's what we would expect to see. And as we cross 152, I'll indicate inbound procedure turn. Seattle Departure, Skyhawk 6378. Mike, inbound procedure turn, localized runway 20. 3378, Mike, uh, no crew traffic is over to you, New Bremerton. Report off for cancellation, Miss Perch, open this frequency on the ground, 122.2, changed by the frequency approved. Change to advisory approved, we'll be back with you on the mist. 78, Mike. Right. Approach, and come on, switch. One, one two three oh five zero. Oops, let's hit nav mode on that AP. Ooh, we're going past the localizer. That was a bad. That was bad, bad, bad on mine, on my part. We have time. We have time to recover that. Once we get back on, we can come on down to AP two thousand five hundred, and we're doing good on speed here. Go ahead. Two thousand five hundred is set. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit VS mode down six hundred feet a minute. Bring that RPMs down to nineteen hundred. Make sure our mixture's pushed all the way in. It is. Wumox FAF five point eight nautical miles to go to the final approach fix. So we've got six miles to go there, and at Wumox is six point three. So we're eleven north of the field. We'll let them know that we're entering. We'll be entering right traffic runway zero two. Bremerton traffic, Skyhawk number 6378. Mike is 11 north of the field, uh, maneuvering to enter right downwind, runway 02, touch and go, Bremerton. There you go. All right, we're all set on that. And we're coming down 2,500. We are established on the localizer. We have 4.8 nautical miles to go to the final approach fix. Let's do our before landing checklist. Floor to door. Tanks are both. Fuel shutoff is in. Mixture is rich. Flaps are up. Lights are as required. Master is on. Standby is on. Keys are in both. Plenty of fuel. Seat seat belts fastened before landing checks are complete. There's 2,500 RPMs back up to 2,100. There you go. All right, doing good. Final approach fix is at four miles. We're a little high on our speed. Okay, let's talk about what we're going to do in the sort of the, the ending phase of this flight. We're going to go ahead and come down to 1,200. Once we cross Wumox, it's going to be 1,200. That's our circling minimums. Why? Because they're because they're right there. Okay. 1200 and once we there we go speed's pretty good speed's pretty good three miles to the final approach fix all right once we hit circling minimums that's an mda that's an mda we stay at 1200 can't go below that 
We're going to go until we're one mile, one nautical mile from the airport. We're going to deflect left and join right traffic to circle runway 02. We'll go ahead and do a touch and go. We'll, we'll do a touch and go. And then we're going to fly right pattern as we climb, but then go over the runway, over the runway, because that's how the mist is flown. And then we follow the rest of the instructions. Climb to 4,000 on heading 19 or 7 and the Ulm Vortac radial 346 to Cairo, right? This is why we want the OLM VOR on here. That's why we do this, is because that OLM VOR is our reference to get to Cairo, and then we're gonna hold at Cairo on green needles. We're gonna hold on green needles, okay? And that's a VOR hold that's gonna be one minute one minute turns or one minute legs all right we got one mile to the final approach fix we are not using the glide slope even though it is alive we are not using that we're using the localizer approach only so we will use vertical speed mode it's a 3.0 glide uh, glide slope degrees so we're going to go ahead and fly a vertical speed of 500 feet a minute uh, let's call it 600 feet a minute down to 1200 so we'll go ahead and plug all that in. All right, here we go, final approach fix. I'm gonna go ahead and go flaps 10. We're gonna go ahead and do AP 1200. 1200, vertical speed mode minus, we'll try 500 feet a minute and see how that goes. And we wanna hold that 90 knots, 90 knots as we come down. Again, we're not following the glide slope. That's not what we're doing. We're doing a localizer approach, so 1200 is bugged right here. That's going to be our circling minimums. Now that we've crossed Wumox, let's go ahead and make another call. We know Wumox is 6.3 nautical miles north, so we'll call it 6 north, entering right downwind for 02. Bremerton traffic, Skyhawk 6378 Mike, 6 miles north of the field, maneuvering to enter right downwind, runway 02, touch and go, Bremerton. There you go. All right, now, you know, just to be safe, we look around. Hey, do we see any traffic? Do we see any traffic? It's, uh, I can already see the runway environment I can see. So there's the rail right there. There's the precision approach indicator. I got runway edge lights, so that's good. That's good. We're in a, we're in a good spot. You can see now, you can see now that uh, 500 a minute is not on the glide slope. It might be just a little bit not quite aggressive enough, so we'll go ahead and just point our nose down a little bit a little bit more. We got 3.7 nautical miles flying at 90. That's a mile and a half a minute. So two minutes will be there. We're losing 600 feet a minute, which means we'll lose 1,200 feet two minutes. That's plenty. We'll we'll be down three mile final runway two one zero mile from the runway. So really, um, so really we have one minute to lose that, and we could still make that. So we have 500 feet to go. Okay, speed is good. Speed is good, 500 feet to go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the tablet right now, so you can just, so we can just focus. Okay, 90 knots, feels good. 300 feet to go to our circling minimums. Circling minimums, right? So we're in vertical speed mode. The AP has got us pegged to 1,200. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at. All right, two miles from the runway poke our head up. Yeah, we're looking really good, so I'm actually going to take it manual right now, and I'm going to stay just a little bit above the circling minimums. Don't let ourselves drop down, right? You don't want to bust circling minimums until you are in a position to land. We are not in a position to land runway 02. We are not. We are in a position to land runway 20, but that's not the runway that we're landing on. All right, we got 1.5 miles to the runway. We're losing a little bit of altitude, so we're going to give it a little bit more throttle just to hold that. No traffic that we can see. There's one one nautical mile, so it's going to be deflection to the left. Hold that altitude. Com one heading. We're going to set our heading to zero two. That's going to be our reference, and we want to keep that runway in sight. Keep it in sight. Keep it in sight. Always keep it in sight. Okay, we're flying 90 knots on the downwind. 
Bremerton traffic, Tayhawk 6378 Mike's entering the right downwind for runway 02, touch and go Bremerton. All right. And want to stay about half a mile away uh, from the runway, half a mile. That's about half a mile. We see in the runway, we're seeing the runway. Oh, we went below circling minimums. Let's go ahead and fix that. I was spending too much time playing with the, the, the GPS there. Okay, we got the numbers at zero two, so that's good. Now we're not flying. You can see right there the range rings show about 0 0.5 nautical miles, so that's good. We're flying an abbreviated pattern. We do not go all the way out. I'm going to go ahead and make that turn in now. And we're in a position to land. We can see the runway. Minimums are satisfied. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and go flaps two. Bremerton traffic, Skyhawk 6378 Mike's turn right base to final runway 02, touch and go Bremerton. All right. And keep that runway in sight, keep that runway in sight, keep that runway in sight. We're going to bring that RPMs down. 500. There we go. Keep that runway in sight. We're definitely a little high. We could have we stood to lose a little bit more speed. Go ahead and go flaps 30. And we overshot. We'll go ahead and correct down a little bit. A little fast. We want 65 knots. We got plenty of runway to work with, so we're not in danger here. We're showing all the whites on the. Uh, expect to start to see some reds there. So I'll give it a little bit more gas. I'll give it 1500. Looking for 64, 65, 65, 65, 65, 1500 RPM. We're across the threshold. Obstacles are cleared. Runway is made. Keep that nose up, keep that nose up. Okay, that's good. And nose is down, flaps are up, full power. And 55. Alright, aim for 10 degrees and climb 74 knots. And what we're going to do is we're going to climb to... Uh, Let's see, it's uh, elevation's 444. We'll climb to 700 feet AGL. That's going to be 1,100. And it's going to be crosswind turn. Then we're going to go right over the runway again because we're trying to do the mist, right? So I'm going to hit the suspend button. Suspend like that. Now we're going to fly the rest of this thing. We're going to fly... Climb to, on hitting 197. 197. So we're going to set our... <sighs> COM1 heading to 197. All right, there's 1100. And keep climbing, climb for 4000. Remnant traffic, Skyhawk 6378. Mike is turning right cross runway 02. We will be overflying the runway and departing to the south, Bremerton. All right, so we're looking for the runway. There it is. We're going to head back to the runway so that we're right over it, and then we're going to fly heading 197. as we continue our climb for 4,000 feet. All right, 4,000 is set. We're over the runway, heading 197. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do heading mode, IAS mode. Autopilot is active. We'll go COM1, and we'll switch, and we'll call departure. Seattle Departure, Skyhawk 6378. Mike, flying the published mist for Breverton. And next, we're looking for Ulm Vortec R346. So I'm going to go ahead. We're in heading mode. I'm going to hit CDI, FMS1. CDI VOR2. Mike, Ident, 78 Mike. Alright, then we're gonna set our course knob to uh Frontier Flight 02 contact Oakland Center 12.45. Course. 3746. Southwest 89. Okay, 346. And then we're gonna get on that 346 to Caro. K 
Caro, and that's going to be the reciprocal of 346 is going to be 166. So we're going to turn heading 166 as soon as we have that. Mike, your radar contact, nine hundred miles southwest of Wilmox intersection, Seattle altimeter, 293, standby to with request. Radar contact, 78 Mike, we'll stand by. Frontier flight 802 Oakland Center, calm and maintain flight okay, climb for 4,000. Watch for that CDI needle to come in, indicating that we've uh, hit the intercept point. Once we've hit the intercept point, we're going to fly south of 3973. Contact Oakland Center, 127.5. So we'll dial that on the heading. We'll give our timers ready here because we're going to be flying one minute legs when we hit Caro. All right, climb checklist is good. RPMs are good. Fuel flow, pressure, temperature are green. Vac is good. Plenty of fuel. Batteries are charged. We just heard two nine or nine or three, so let's go ahead and set our barrow real quick. Two nine or nine or three, and we're gonna set two nine or nine or three here. There we go. Okay, barrow is good. So the thirty nine seventy three Oakland Center climb and maintain flightable three one zero. And we have four thousand feet. We're established. Okay, we're going to go ahead to our cruise checklist. That's pitch power and trim. So we're going to pitch, have our uh, AP is going to pitch down. That's looking good. Speed's coming up. We're going to fly this hold at 90 knots. So we're going to go ahead and do 2,200 just like this. All right, that's feeling good. You can see the CDI is starting to come into the VOR there. The intercept point. Once we hit that intercept point, we're going to turn heading 166 and we're looking for Caro. El Paso clearance, good afternoon. November 446 to uniform at and we're going the Atlantic fast, Aviation so we'll Branch with bring that in. Echo IFR to Kilo Bravo Romeo Golf. All right, and we'll do come one, click heading one. There we go. 167, uh, I just want to get it exactly right. 166, there we go. Left turn, heading for Caro. Very nice. All right, now. So this 8915 after Barton, just uh, climb in the team 1000. So there we are on the R346. We're flying, what, uh, flying the speed we should. We're flying the altitude we should. Now what we want to do is we want to cross the fix at Caro. And Caro is the R230 from Seattle. So we'll do 116.8 on NAV1. 116.8 on NAV1. And switch that. And we'll go ahead and do the PFD options bearing 1 to NAV1. And that's going to show us... Sir, 7 8 Mike, we'd like to do one lap in the hold at Carroll for training purposes and then pick up the RNAV runway 02 uh, at Bremerton. So, where you want to start the approach from? Uh, we like to start that approach from Zolgi. Approach FedEx 321, uh, 1 3000 with Victor. Okay, Caro is five miles, and how do we know that? So we're going to go back to the D part. FedEx 321, oh, Portland Approach, altimeter 2984, after nut, Cine maintain 3000. So Caro is OLM 19.4. Left left so OLM 19.4 there. The right side? Yeah, right side. And then on the R230. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do... Right expect uh, ILS 10 right, uh, descend after... How do I want to do 3, this? FedEx 321. What we're going to do is we're going to change the CDI to VOR... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to keep it on VOR 2, and we will use... Seven, eight, Mike, report ready to leave the hold. Roger, we'll report leaving the hold, 7-8 Mike. Or, we'll report ready to leave the hold, 7-8 Mike. Southwest 89-15, turn right, direct, Concord. All right, so Concord. now Southwest what we're going to do... 89-15. ...is we'll just use... We use the VOR here as our lateral reference that we're, that we're correct as we come in on the inbound. We're going to be flying legs 
of one minute and you can see here we actually have a crosswind at this point it's going left to right so it's pushing it's, it's our left to right it's gonna be pushing us to the west that's pushing us in the, the, the direction that's safe. That's the safe direction, right? That's the that's the holding side. The west, the left to right is pushing us this way, right? So that's safe because we're going to be more inside the uh, the circle. But just to be, you know, good here, maybe we'll make our turns to correct for them just a little bit. Eugene one departure to Since we're in the hold for a second, let's go ahead and pull the mixture out just a little bit. Departure. Departure and bring that RPM down to 2100, trying to stay at 90 two. knots. All right. Nine seven six seven Foxtra is clear to paint field via the Eugene one departure. Corvallis then is filed. All right, so now it's one six six outbound. We're going to right turn three four six. And squawk two 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 nine seven six on Fox Road. Four six on Fox Road, we back track. Okay, there's six, six, there's three, Carol. Three, 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 so now it's going to be right turn three, three, three four six. Alpha, six Just like that. El Paso clearance. Good afternoon. Right November, turn four, four, six, three four, four six. We are on aviation with information echo IFR to Kilo Bravo Romeo call please. All right, making the turn. And we're a little slow. Give it a little bit more gas. And as we're established 346, we'll go ahead and fire off the timer. 446, uniform, El Paso, clearance, stand by. All right, there's 346 coming up on you. Keep that speed, 90 knots. And start the timer. Oops. FMS1. Start, enter. Okay, timer's rolling, one minute. And speed's a little high. Southwest 653, you're seven miles from Plaza. Maintain 2,000 till established. Both guards are cleared. ILS runway 1 2 approach and contact Oakland Tower established. Okay, maintain 2,000, cleared ILS 1 2 approach and all contact Tower once established. Southwest 653. Seattle Departure 6378 Mike established in the hold at Carroll. Apologies, we were late for that. Uh, no worries, sir. Uh, just advise when you're ready. You'll leave the hold. Wilco, 78 Mike. All right, we're coming up there, uh, 50 seconds. And it's going to be a left turn back, or right turn back onto 166. Okay, click. Come on. Southwest 89.15, contact North Calipritch, 134.5. Right. and right turn, 166. All right, in the meantime, why don't we go ahead and re-get the weather at Bremerton. And we're doing pretty good on speed there, that's good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and switch COM2 to Bremerton. We'll grab the latest weather. Again, you're not going to be able to hear it. I apologize for that. Wind 015 at 10. 015 at 10, visibility 10. Sky condition few at 17 and ceiling 46 broken and temperature 8C. Altimeter 2993. And Southwest 653. Wind 130 at 24. And. Yeah, I saw that. Southwest 63. Alright, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of a heading change over. Click, click, heading change 156. We're going to do a left turn because you can see that we are off Cairo pretty significantly. That uh, that wind has blown us off course uh, a lot. So uh, we'll try to point at that. I'll go ahead stop and reset my timer here. FMS 1, enter, enter, reset, okay. All right, we're going for Cairo again here, and then it's going to be right turn. I'm going to be right turn back on 346. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at how the wind blew us uh, blew us along here. Not, not great. And it's at 19.4 DME from the OLM. That's supposed to be where Cairo is, 19.6. All right, so then we go right. Oops. 
Right turn. Yeah, November 446, uniform cleared to Bellin Regional Airport. Uh, radar vectors and I will I'll turn through to 356 and try to fight some of that uh, some of that tendency to be blown to the west here, so. Okay, right turn. Once we're established, I'll go ahead and hit uh, FMS1, start the timer one minute legs. And as we do this, then I'm going to go ahead and ask, oh, tell them we're ready to leave the hold. And then we're going to have to do some fancy FMSing to, uh, to keep everything rolling while we switch the approach. So I'll go ahead and establish. There we go. And start the timer. Seattle departure, Skyhawk 6378, Mike, we are ready to leave the hold at Cairo. Southwest 8915, contact North Calipridge 127.4. Until uh, we're given any other clearance, we're going to have to just... we got to fly this hold like we normally would. There's 6378, Mike. Uh, when able to proceed direct Zolgi, cross Zolgi at 4,000, cleared, are now for runway, one, runway 2 approach, report inbound from Zolgi. When able to proceed direct Zolgi, cross Zolgi 4,000, cleared the RNAV 02 approach, report inbound Zolgi 78 Mike. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do um, FMS uh, 1, proc, uh, select approach. RNAV 02, enter, starting at Zolgi. We'll get the barrel later. Activate. Now we are we go direct Zolgi. So I'll go ahead and hit NAV, AP, NAV mode. Oops. Back. CDI. Magenta needles. That was done. Nope. Horizon Air 499, clear to Boise International Airport. Suma to departure. Suma as filed. Columbia State, except maintain 9,000, I'm doing this the way I want to do this, making a left turn, after departure. Departure frequency not a right turn, stay 4,000, four, 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 sometimes you got to just take command of the airplane, okay, keep that 4,000, keeping the speed, well, going direct, Zolgi, proc, activate approach, uh, departure 120.4, squawk 2755, uh, horizon 499. Going a little fast. Horizon 499, uh, the uh, altitude was completely blocked out. Just confirmed, climb the acidic 17 niner thousand. Expect level 3301, zero, zero, minutes okay, so after departure. Alt mode, we're all set there. Now, GPS, autopilot is active. And we're 3.7 miles from Zolgi. And we Air are... Horizon 499, way back, correct. FedEx 321, fly heading 150. Let's go ahead and check our plate. 150, FedEx 321. So, maps, procedure, approach, RNAV 02, Zolgi, to Antigrid. Okay, that's been changed. We're going to Zolgi. And we're in Zolgi, we're actually going to do another hold of the procedure turn. Yeah, we're expecting uh, 17 right. Plates, approach, runway 02. Clear all that crap out. All right, so we're going to go Zolgi. We're going to do a parallel entry, so that's going to be. Uh, let's see if let's see if the uh, GPS agrees with us here. So I'll go ahead and hit flight plan like that. We'll range out a little bit so you can see. So it thinks uh, what it wants to do is do a teardrop entry. So it's going to go Zolgi, and then it's going to do a right turn around, and then establish inbound. So uh, that's fine. So it's 89.15 cross Elko. So we're going to go like this. Clear. Like that, and then once we're inbound Zolgi, we can descend 2,100, and we'll call um, that we're inbound Zolgi. Okay, so teardrop entry into the hold. Stay 90, stay 90 knots. The with information in Foxtrot, ready for Stay 90 knots. Uniform, Once we're crossed um, Zolgi back so inbound, we'll descend 2,100, and then we'll expect next is CBOD 2,100. Now we're going to fly this on LNAV MDA minimums because we have to have a non-precision approach, not an LPV. So we're going to come down to 1160, and that'll be an MDA that we hold until we're in position to land, until we have minimums runway environment in sight and um, in a position to land. We'll do a touch and go. We'll go missed and then we'll head to Tacoma Narrows. 
FedEx 321, floor heading 120, join the runway 10 right localizer. Okay, Zolgi is... 120, join the localizer for 10 right. Uh, Zolgi's uh, coming up. 2100, let's try to keep flying this at 90 knots. All right. FedEx 321, 8 miles from here and maintain 3000 until it's proper localizer. Clear I lost runway 10 right approach. Been checking, should be checking our OAT there and today, but it's, we're doing good, we're above freezing, not by much, but a little bit. Right, FedEx and let's make sure that we're all set here for our comms, unit comms going to be 12305, so that's set comm 1, and uh, comm South 2, uh, you can either go straight to, uh, ahead on uniform to the gate, or I can take you around via Bravo, which would you prefer? Straight on to uniform. All right, we're going a little fast, so go ahead and bring that RPM back. Remember that we're a little bit uh, rich, or a little bit lean on mixture, so as we cross Zolgi, start coming down to 100, we're going to go ahead and push mixture full rich. We're going to report Zolgi and we'll expect to be changed to the advisory frequency. We'll change over, we'll report that we're inbound, straight in runway 0, 2, touch and go. And then we'll fly the rest of this down to LNAV minimums once we cross the final approach fix, which is CBOD, so 2100 to CBOD. Then down to 1,160. Let's go ahead and take a second. Let's see. 19, confirm you have ADIS. Timer rough. And at 15, uh, confirm we had it. That. Barrow, 1160. Okay, Julia is now current. Odds of 2022, correction, 2000 Zulu. Okay. I want to check uh, Julia itself at 15. Okay, good. We got minimum set. And we need to set our Barrow. Remember that. We got to set a 2 9 or 9 or 2. That's what we heard. There we go. And we're flying a little slow here. And autopilot's got us coming around here. Eugene Ground, out of 767 Foxtrot, with information Alpha at Atlantic, ready to taxi. All right, to Azogi, to Zogi. All right, looking good. Looking good. We're just about to be inbound Zolgi here when all of a sudden. Niner 7. Oh no. Halfway to go. Niner 7 to 6 7 Fox 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 Negative 133.2. All right, we only have FMS1. We have to be in reversion mode also. That means our autopilot died. Ah, we have a dead autopilot. What are we going to do? Uh, okay, well, the first thing we're going to do, make sure our flight plan is up here. We know we're going to be zoned in. 88, navigate, then communicate. We're too high. Do we just cross Zolgi? All right, it's left turn. All right, we're going to make a left turn here and follow that flight director. Contact Tower. Contact Tower. And we're going to make a left turn here and follow that flight director. Seattle Departure Skyhawk 6378 Mike is inbound Zolgi. 6378 Mike, no travel to the routine you and Burma 10 report. I have a cancellation Miss bridge over on this frequency. You're on the ground 122.2. Change advisor frequency approved. Change to advisory approved. We'll see you on the miss. 78 Mike. All right, so we're coming down to 2,100 because we know we can do that. That's Final on our plate. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go for the ILS come right. one, switch. And uh, let's see. We know we're, looks like, 12, 12 south of the field. No, nah, but 15 south of the field. Coming down 2,100, 90 knots, looking really good. This is not the final approach fix. We've got to go a little bit left for lineup. Permanent traffic, Skyhawk 6378 Mike is 15 south of the field, straight in, runway 02, touch and go, Bremerton. All right, so we're going to watch that, that little diamond right there, that little diamond's just to the left, so that's going to help bring this uh, needle back in. The CDI is going to center up, and then we're going to fly. Let me go ahead and bug my heading like that. And then we know we're going to want to probably deflect that about 5 degrees to the right. All right, we're still coming down. We're coming down a little shallow right now. We're looking for 2100. Again, we're on reversionary mode, right? We had a failure of our primary flight display. This is something that they're going to test. Um, they're going to they're going to kill your primary flight display, and you 
you have to fly the whole thing manually with your MFD. That's your only reference point. Okay, we're going to hold that two and a half degree down angle, putting that right here in the notch between this white line and this white line. Keep it nice and steady. It's trimmed out pretty well. Okay, as we're coming down, we're going to go mixture full ridge. Don't forget to do that. We're going down below 3,000. There you go. Keep that nice and easy. And deflect that heading over to a 014. Keep that heading bug. Don't go off track. Okay, we're through 3,000, coming down to 2,100. Let's do our uh, Florida door checks. Uh, both tanks, fuel shutoff is in, mixture is rich, flaps are up, lights are as required, uh, master's on, standby's armed, keys are in both, checking our fuel, we got plenty of fuel, 28 volts on the battery, positive amps, seat seat belts are fastened, we're ready for landing. Alright, we got uh, 600 feet to go, and I'm just deflecting just a little bit more here. All right, once we're CBOD, 5.4 nautical miles, that's going to be our final approach fix at CBOD. We're going to go flaps 10. We'll do. Uh, we'll descend down to minimums, which have been set, 1160 right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the... No, oh, shoot. That doesn't work. Flight plan off, just so we can see our, our map just a touch. There you go, 2.5 nautical miles looks pretty good. All right, 250 feet to go. We're a little fast. Go ahead and bring that RPM down. And a little bit left for line up here, 200 feet to go. 4.6 miles to CBOD. Now once we hit 2100, we've got we to gotta even this out. We've got to fly it at 90. We can't lose any more altitude. I'm going to go ahead and bring that pitch up to about, about one degree up. All right. And we're going to do a left turn here. And we're going to try to center that diamond. Yeah, about 014 looks right to me. So we'll go ahead and put that notch there. Oop, we just we blew that minimum. Let's go ahead and recover. We gotta recover. There you go. Use some trim. Use some trim and don't let it settle down. There you go. There you go. Alright, Seabod now three miles. Don't let it settle there. And hold looking like a two and a half degree two and a half degree pitch up there. Speed is good, we're a little high. I'm gonna point that nose. In fact I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take off a little bit of throttle. Sink the nose a little bit. Right hand turn. We're off track just a little. Twenty one hundred to C bud. Aviate, navigate, then communicate. After CBOD, right, comes uh, comes the runway, and we're going to be holding that. We're going to be at 1160 MDA all the way down to the runway. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it back. We're gaining a little altitude here. Don't want to be doing that. Bring that diamond back. Probably around heading 012 is what you want. So we'll go ahead and put that in the notch at 012. Give yourself a little bit left for lineup. CBOD now two miles, two miles. Once we cross CBOD, we'll be um, five miles south. Okay, just flying it manually. Just a day in the park, just a day in the park. Point three nautical miles to the final approach fix. Now, when we turn, when we hit the final approach, there is a slight turn, zero one seven, a slight turn to zero one seven. So right now, if we want to be on, if we're on zero one zero, we're holding zero one three. There's a little bit of a crosswind component we're fighting here. Doing pretty good, twenty one hundred. Okay, we're less than a mile from the final approach fix. Less than a mile. All right, it's tough when you have a primary primary display failure. Not a ton of fun, is it? No autopilot. Uh, I mean, in the real world, you're craning your neck over here going, why do I have to look over here? This sucks. Your stuff's not in the right place. And then in Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's really hard because you have to use these frickin' buttons to control this thing. I mean, it's, it's, that's not how it really works, I don't think, but there you go. All right, here we go. We're coming through the final approach fix now. And down to 1160 minimum. 
It's 1160 minimums. Flaps are up. Push through. Turn to 017. Whoa, I'm off. I'm off track there. Let me tell you what. All right, coming down to 1160. Coming down to our minimums. 1160. I'm going to go ahead and come on down to 1200 because that gives me a little bit of wiggle room. All right, that's going to be right turn. We're going to go ahead and establish. Bremerton traffic, Skyhawk 6378. Mike is 5 south of the field, 4 south of the field. Straight in, runway 02, touch and go. And we'll be departing to the south, Bremerton. All right, we're coming down. Got that 2.5 degree down angle. Speed's pretty good. Coming down at 750, we're going down to the uh, LNAP minimums for uh, LNAP minimums straight in 1,160 feet. I've got it set to 1,200 bugged right there. Three mile final runway zero two. Now at 2.1 miles is going to be our visual descent point. That's when we know we that's that's the point at which you can continue. If you see the runway, you can do a a continue that standard three degree down angle. Uh, for landing, get a nice stabilized approach. So as we come down here, I'm going to go ahead and pop my head out right about now. Yeah, uh, you can see it, but no. And I let myself sink a little bit below the minimums, but I can see the runway. But that's no excuse. No excuse going to recover that back up to 1160 but look at how low you are looking barely see the runway through the trees look at that right that is that's a little rough so this is what you'd be holding holding 1160 holding 1160 feet don't let yourself get any lower than that and where's 2.2 miles the visual descent points at 2.2 miles why don't we hold 1160 till that vdp and then we'll look and see what it shows us we need a little bit right for lineup 2.4 miles. Okay, a little. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and center it out. 2.3. 2.2. Point your head up. VDP. This is where you continue a 3.0 degree uh, glide slope down angle and and make the runway. So you don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to have a wild descent rate. You can come down at a normal three degrees and make that runway. All right. Permanent traffic, Skyhawk 6378 Mike, two mile final, runway 02, touch and go. All right, we're down to 85 knots. Going to go ahead and flaps three. And adjust our trim, push the nose. Five hundred. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll go ahead and tablet off for you. I'm having a look right there. Look at my speed, 71. Okay, we've got two reds over two whites. We're going to bring that nose up a little bit. That'll reduce our speed. Try to keep that RPM s about 1,500, but I'm feeling like I'm having to do a little bit more. Okay, we got a 200 foot per minute descent rate at this point. Trying to keep those, f trying to keep that trim nice and steady. 65 knots. It's a good final approach speed. Okay, 250 feet per minute down angle. We're being blown off course a little bit. It's a 16 knot headwind. That's some of the reason that this just feels like we're just crawling like molasses. Our our ground speed is much lower. I'd, I'd be able to tell you what it was if I wasn't in reversionary mode on the stupid PFD. One thing we didn't do, we didn't talk about the missed approach procedure. That would get me a uh, pretty nasty, pretty nasty mark from my instructor, from my examiner. Not having done that. Let me give it a little bit more gas. So we're coming in. That headwind is really something. It's you know it's a friend to me because it's not knocking me all over the place, but it's it's pretty strong. It's what's an 11 knot headwind, 17 knot headwind coming down the runway here. It's pretty significant. All right, pretty good. We did a good job. We stayed at or above the precision glide slope into our precision path indicator all the way down. So that was good. So now we'll go ahead and bring all that down to an idle. And align with the center line of the runway. Get our body lined up with the center line. And keep that nose up. Keep that nose up. There you go. Oh, just a little bit of a bounce. All right. Flaps. One, two, three. Flaps are up. And full power.
Make sure we're set. Takeoff trim is okay. Green, 55. Rotate for 10, uh, 10 degrees. Climb out at 74. And center that runway heading. And we need to climb to 1200, then climbing right turn 4000 direct Zolgi. 4000 direct Zolgi. I'm going to hit the suspend button here. Climb to 1200. And I need a little more, a little more trim up. We need to climb faster. Climb faster. Climb for 74. Climb out of here. Climb 1200. A little more trim up. Keep climbing. Keep climbing. We're at 1,000. Twelve hundred, then climbing right turn direct Zolke. Bremerton traffic, six three seven eight Mike's turn and right cross runway zero two departing to the south, Bremerton. Alright, and we are out of here. Alright, so oh that that's too big a bite of the sky, my friend. What happened? No? Don't know. Flaps are up, we're clean configuration. Mixture's full. We were just taking too big a bite of the sky. That was that was on me. Keep turning. I I don't know what it's doing here. Is that right? Flight plan, runway two, suspend. Take me out of here. Well, I don't know why that's failing, but we we can't let it stop us. Direct Zolgi. See, we had another failure on top of a failure there. All right, COM 1, switch. 767 seven, Fox, Strat, Seattle Center, COM and maintain, flightable 230. And altitude 4000. Flight level 230. Okay, 4000 is set. Direct Zolgi. United 485, uh, clear to Los Angeles International Airport. Bulldog 3 departure to Thule. Direct Tafto. Direct almost as filed. Okay, we're doing pretty good on the climb. Expect flight level 23010, manufacturer departure. Departure frequency 119.6, squawk 4154. All right, we're doing good. Climb to Los Angeles uh, International Airport, pull down departure uh, to Thule. Uh, I think that's radar vectors to Thule, then direct tap to direct almost, and that's filed. Uh, climate channel zero thousand, flight level two three zero to one zero minutes. Uh, so a bit of a right turn. Nine point six, squawk four one five four. United four eighty five, read back correct. And just FYI, if ATC says two as opposed to direct or transition, that is typically indicator that it will be radar vectors. All right, thank you so much. All right, and we can turn reversionary mode off. We did a good job. 362 Uniform, when able, proceed direct Molly. Contact Albuquerque Center, 124.32. We're turning left direct Molly and Albuquerque Center, 2432. You have a good day. 446, Seattle Departure, Skyhawk 6378Mike, flying the published mist from Bremerton. All right, and our autopilot is back, so that's... 6378Mike, Seattle Departure, I down. Ident, 7 8 Mike. All right, go ahead and push that through. All right, pitch power and trim. Power to 2400. I'm going to go ahead and activate. Turn 536, crash 538 Mike, radar contact 10 miles southwest of Wilmox. Uh, execute Mr. Bridge as published and stand by with request. Execute Mr. As published. We'll stand by with request 7 8 Mike. All right, in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to do. We're going to go to Tacoma Narrows next, so we've got KTIW and Spectre Approach. We're looking for the approach R-35. Let's go ahead and get weather. Uh, okay, so 2, 1, 2, 4, 0, 5. We're 4462 Uniform, Albuquerque Center, thank you, El Paso, Altimeter, 3007. 0, 1, 7, and 6. 
Visibility 10, sky condition few at 17, and ceiling 4,600 feet broken. Temperature 7, dew point 10, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 4. All right, we've got the weather. That's awesome, and we need to slow down. We hit 4,000 and slow our RPMs way down. 478 Mike, go ahead. Roger 78 Mike would like the RNAV uh, GPS runway 35 into Tacoma Narrows starting at Face Us. Alright. And Barrow, 29904. 29904. There you go. And let's go ahead and center our heading bug because we know we're going to have to change our flight plan. We are headed Zolgi. We got eight miles to Zolgi, and we're going to go ahead and set COM one while we're thinking about it to uh, 118.5 for Tacoma Tower. But it's going to be a Unicom because they don't simulate Tacoma Tower in. Center seven eight Mike uh, RNAV one seven or three five in that part. Uh, RNAV three five for seven eight Mike. Horizon Air 499, when able proceed direct SUMA, contact Seattle Center 1... Okay, we've got 1185 set there. We've got the weather. We're going to go ahead and go back to monitor ground on COM 2. We're just waiting to get our... We're waiting to get our uh, approach clearance. And then we'll make a procedure change uh, and actually change our flight plan significantly. I'll, sh I'll show you, I think, the way I'm thinking of doing it, and we'll just use heading code. Horizon Air 499, oh, Seattle Center, thank you. Enable proceed direct SUMA, call and maintain bottom level 330. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. Hit, uh, nope. Back that up, and we'll go to KTIW. Destination ATIS is 124.05. There we go. Very nice. Okay, we're set on the tablet there. For seven three, sorry, or six three seven eight, Mike uh, cleared to Tacoma Narrows Airport via direct faces, cross faces at three thousand or above. Cleared RNAV runway three five approach. Report inbound from Genka. Cleared Tacoma Narrows uh, via FaceSAS, cross FaceSAS at or above 3,000. Cleared the RNAV GPS runway 35 into Tacoma. Report inbound Ganka, 7-8 Mike. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, like this. FMS2. Uh, menu. Invert flight plan. And no, no uh-uh. Heading mode AP. Heading mode, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Next, we're going to change. Let's see, FMS2, we're going to change this. No. Ugh, I'm messing this up. Clear. Yes. Destination. K. T. I. W. Enter, enter. Okay, good. Now, proc. Select approach. Nope. That is absolutely not right. Clear, clear, clear. Go back. Flight pan. Direct to... Forget this. We're gonna get moving to Fay Sass. Ugh, I hate all this. Fay. Sass. Activate. AP nav mode. And in the meantime, FMS2 flight plan. 
KTIW. Proc, select approach. KTIW, there you go. RNAV 35, face us. Enter. Minimums. Barrow, looks like 561. So we'll call it 570. Load. All right, we're loaded. Now we're going to do proc activate approach. There we go. That's direct face us. And we're going to cross it 3,000. So I'll go ahead, AP, set this to 3,000. VS mode minus 600. We'll descend. Nineteen hundred face us is twelve point three nautical miles. That was a little messy, and you got to watch out for that when you're using your GPS. That was some ugly stuff. So let's take a look at our um, our approach plate. So. Face us is the initial approach fix. We're going to cross at 3,000. Then we can descend down to 2,000 to cross Ganka. At Ganka, we uh, let them know we're inbound. Ganka is going to be left turn, 347. Keep to 2,000 until we cross Kefpu. Uh, at Kefpu, we're going to have make sure we have LPV shown here in the, the window. If we have LPV um, it, uh, available to us, then We'll go ahead and use that. Ground we use the one one right taxi via vertical and lateral Bravo three, Bravo. to get us all the way down to the minimums of 561. Taxi one one right via Bravo three, Bravo. And we'll do a full stop uh, at uh, KT. And he wants to hold. Never mind. If we need to go miss, right we'll go climb to 4,000, direct a Casa, and then left turn via 230, track to Caro. All right, and that's what happens if we have to go missed. I don't want to go missed. I want to go home. Okay, but, you know, it is kind of ugly out here. See all this? Anyway, what we've done so far, we've done two non-precision approaches using two different um, navigational aids. We've used, oh, that's 3,000, so I'll go ahead and go speed up. And 2,100. Let's keep that 90 knots. We did two non-precision approaches, one on GPS, one on VOR, that's good. One was circling, that's good. One was partial panel, that's good. I've shown the uh, that I can do the autopilot, I've shown that I can hand fly it, I've shown that I can keep within three quarters of uh, three quarter scale deflection on both vertical and lateral guidance, so that's awesome. We've done a hold, we've done a procedure turn, that's good. We've been in touch with ATC, we've complied with ATC instructions. We're now going to do our last uh, piece of this. There is also unusual attitudes, but I'm not doing that today. Um, the last piece of this is a precision approach, which we will be doing by flying an RNAV approach, which is normally not precision, but if the LPV minimums are at or below 300 height above touchdown, it can be considered precision. So it, we will do that, and we're doing a precision uh, approach. Runway 35 into Tacoma Narrows, full stop, park it, and we'll be done. All right, make sure our comms and navs and all that stuff are set. So we have 124, we're on with departure. 118.5 is Tacoma Unicom. We've got, uh, we've got the weather at Tacoma. we got guard at 121.5. Barrow is set, minimums are set. We have Seattle and Olympia as our nav aids. Um, Olympia OLM is actually on the chart here, so that's useful. A little bit, not really. Uh, whatever. And we know we're going to cross face us at 3,000. Then we can descend 2,000 to cross Ganka at 2,000. Then it's a left turn. 347 is our final approach course. Cross the, the final approach fix at 2,000. Then we'll have vertical guidance established. We'll do a coupled approach with. So we'll hit the approach mode on the autopilot. And that'll take us all the way down to the minimums. I've got it set to 570. And uh, that's a decision altitude. So we. Uh, we decide at that point whether we can land. I believe that we should be able to, given what I saw about the weather there at Tacoma. If we can land, we do and park it. If we can't land, we'll go ahead and fly the mist, which is 4,000 direct to Kaza, left turn 230 to Caro and hold. Okay, we aviated, we navigated, and we communicated. We are six miles from face us, and we are getting close to the end of our day. And what a day it is. And 
we've done a hold and loop procedure turn on GPS. We've done a hold uh, with uh, VOR. So we've done our uh, our VOR holds and we've done our GPS holds. That's good. Five miles, 4.8 miles to face us. Let's go ahead and verify flight plan. We'll pull that up. Face us. Yep. To Ganka, to Kefpu, to runway 35. 561 feet is our decision altitude. And then Ikaza and Cairo if we have to go missed. Okay. Next altitude is going to be 2000. So I'll go ahead and hit AP and we'll go ahead and set that. We'll bug 2000. Once we cross face off, so we can hit that. We'll use vertical speed mode and go down at 600 feet a minute. And let's go ahead and do our before landing checks. Floor to door. Tanks both. Fuel shut off is in. Something's gone. Oh, there we go. That was weird. All right. Mixture is rich. Flaps are up. Lights are as required for landing. Batteries. Master is on. Standby is armed. Keys are in both. Fresno Tower. United 45. Batteries are good. Seat belts are fastened. Ready for landing. Three United 485. Fresno Tower. Runway 11 right. Clear for takeoff. Take off on runway one one right, United forty five. Two and a half miles. All right, we got ourselves uh, definitely a crosswind here, so it's left to right. That's. Uh, Class Delta in 3.8 miles. Coming from the north. I don't really want to hear more. You know what? Maps. Settings. Alerts. No airspace alerts. Be quiet. All right. Cross and face us in 1.5 miles. Speed's a little high. Airplane's been doing good today. All right. Half a mile to face us. We expect left turn uh, heading a one uh, two niner to Ganka. All right, there's that left turn. We'll go ahead and hit vertical speed mode, 600 feet a minute, and bring our RPMs down to 1900. Keep that 90 knots. We're gonna have to go down a little bit lower than that. Go down to about 1800 or so. All right, make sure our mixture is full rich. It is. That's good. Outside air temperature is good. It's above freezing. That's fantastic. Coming down for Gankin now. Some serious crosswind and headwind components today. We should expect fairly low ground speed on our um, fairly low ground speed on ground our touchdown. That'll be very nice. Six six hotel, ready pick up our IFR to Chico. And we're going to report inbound contact Gankin. departure. Contact departure, United 485. Fresno departure, United 45 is at 3,500, climbing 10,000. United 485, okay, Fresno departure, radar to our, contact, to our climbing to 10,000. Climbing to 10,000, United 45. What do we see? We don't see a lot today. Pretty ugly. All right, 300 feet to go. Ganka is our intermediate fix. It's not our final approach fix, so we're just going to be using that as a as a turn point. That's a. F there are four seven six six hotel using ground clear to point, Chico Airport. Fly past. Using one flyover. departure so to Roseburg as filed. Maintain nine thousand. Expect one three thousand one hundred minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.6. Okay. 47666 is cleared to Chico via the Eugene 1 departure and then as filed, climb, maintain 9,000. And 2.3 miles to Ganka. 3,000 after departure, frequency 119.6, squawk 5023. 466 hotel, read back track. 
Victor 6 on the Foxtrot, uh, contact Seattle Center 125.1. And we're going to go ahead and make that turn at Ganka. We're not going to change our altitude in any way. We're going to stay at 2,000 across Kefpu, and then at Kefpu, uh, we should see our vertical guidance, our glide path begin to come along. Uh, right there, 499, where are you navigating to? Capture that. Oh dear, that didn't sound good. Sink that heading bug. Okay, okay, that's not on your cleared route. Uh, is there a reason why you're going there and not on your cleared route? Right and left turn at Ganka, keeping that altitude 2,000 feet. Okay, you know, uh, Horizon Air 499, your, the, the SID terminates at Suma, where you were supposed to join J54. Um, so, any anytime there's an ending point after the SID, that is where you stop flying the SID. Um, turn right, adding 130, join J54. All right, and we see LPV has come alive here, so we we know that we have the precision needed to uh, activate a LPV. Uh, we can use LPV minimums, and we can Niner, activate the couple of approach. Niner 776, I'm in Fox Shot, Seattle Center, Common, maintain flight level 260, report top of descent. Seattle Departure, Skyhawk 637, Mike reporting inbound, Ganka. Tour 6378, Mike, no traffic is there between you and two common errors. Report, report after cancellation. Miss Bridge, airborne this frequency on the ground. 122.2, change the advisor frequency approved. Change to advisory approved. We'll see you on the ground. 78, Mike. All right. United 485. Switch to 118.5. Ganka is 6911. We'll just call, we'll call it 10 South. Tacoma Narrows traffic, Skyhawk 6378, Mike is 10 south of the field, straight in, runway 35, full stop, Tacoma. All right, Kefpu, four miles. We've done our before landing checks. When we cross Kefpu, uh, we're going to be, as we, as we come to Kefpu, we're going to watch for this glide path to come alive. When it does, we'll get ready to activate a coupled approach using approach mode. Once we cross the final approach fix, we'll go flaps 10. We'll follow that coupled approach all the way down. We'll expect to our LPV minimums of 570 feet. That's going to be our decision altitude. We'll pop our head up at that point, make sure that we're all set to land. We're going to need three things to land. Remember, we're going to need minimums need to be satisfied. That's visibility minimums is really the only legal requirement, but we should also be aware of the clouds as well. Um, runway environment in sight, that's, you know, uh, paint, edge lights, um, uh, the precision approach indicator, um, paint, I already said paint, <laughs> asphalt end lights, uh, centerline lights, so make sure we have that sight and then in a continuous position to land. That is to say that we can, from our current position, hit the center line and have a safe uh, rate of descent to be able to land safely. And uh, if we have all three of those things, we can continue. We are three miles. We are 2.8 miles from Kefapu. We'll make another call as we come through. That's about five south of the field. And um, All right, we've got uh, glide path is coming alive. Our vertical component is starting to swing in, so we'll get ready to activate our coupled approach. Autopilot there. <sighs> 2.3 nautical miles. 118.5, no traffic we're hearing. No traffic that we're hearing. Can we see anything out here? Actually, we can. That's that's good, you know, so see and avoid, see and avoid, right? Uh, out there, you can see the lovely Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Isn't that just great? Love it, we all love that. Um, all right, 1.8 miles to go, and our glide path is uh, swinging in, so that's looking good. LPV is confirmed. We have the precision that we need to fly this all the way down to LPV minimums, and in doing so, um, we'll use the coupled approach mode in our autopilot. 1.4 nautical miles. Keep that speed where it should be. Keep that speed where it should be. Keep that 90 knots. 1.3 miles, and glide path is swinging in. On center line. On speed. All right, we know the story here. I'm gonna turn that tablet off. And we're just gonna enjoy. On 
All right. Arming approach mode. GP shows glide path is armed, but not yet captured. When it's captured, then this will change to GP. And go in flaps 10. Glide path capture. Tacoma Narrows traffic, Skyhawk 6378 Mike's 5 south of the field, straight in, runway 35, full stop, Tacoma. Alright, let's go fly this at 90, let's bring our RPMs down, we're going to point that nose, fly the glide path, flying it down to 570 feet, GPS nav, GPS nav mode lateral is confirmed, autopilot is active, glide path is captured, and we are on coupled approach. We've already done our before landing checks. Engine instruments are still green. Fuel is still good. We will continue. Listening for any traffic. Looking around for any traffic. So far, so good. 1,200 feet to go. That turned out to be a pretty nice day at, uh, as long as you're you know, below 2,000 feet. So clouds at about 2,000, looks like. Maybe 1,700. All right, 1,000 feet to go. Three and a half miles. And I'll go ahead and dial on COM1. I'll, I'll set up 122.2 because we got to close our flight plan. Alright, flying almost exactly at 90, maybe just a little, little skosh more of RPM there. Alright, 700 feet to go. Oh no, your autopilot Two failed. mile final runway 35. Oh no, you can't see anything. Okay, alright, well let's go ahead. Two and a half degree down angle. Actually not that. We're gonna stay, we're gonna stay up here. Okay, let's follow the flight director. Follow the flight director. A little bit left for lineup. A little bit left for lineup. Or the RPMs. Tacoma traffic, Skyhawk 6378 Mike, one and a half mile final runway, 35, full stop, Tacoma. Sink that heading bug. Arr, 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 arr. All right, we got 200 feet to go. One hundred feet to go. Five hundred. Heads up. Yep, we're good. Landing is assured. Or excuse me, not landing is assured. We're in a position to land. I can see the runway. We've uh, we've satisfied minimums. Five hundred. Going visual. That was getting a little nuts. That was getting a little nuts there. I apologize. Just fight my trim a little bit. Lots of headwind. 15 knots of headwind even here on the ground. Okay, so keep that nose up. Align with the runway center line. And nice and easy. Flaps up. Put the weight on the wheels. Tacoma traffic, Skyhawk 6370, Mike's clear runway 35, taxi parking, Tacoma. Horizon Air 499, thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and do our 
real quick. Uh, after landing checks, all right, set takeoff trim, landing and strobes off. Seattle departure Skyhawk 6370 Mike on the ground. Like to close our IFR to Tacoma. 6370 Mike, I for cancellation receive. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day, 70 Mike. All right, transponder will squawk VFR and park it. Six two to uniform. Thank you. There are three six nine or Bravo clear to Jackson Hole Airport, Salt Lake City for departure to Tia Chappie. What are you doing? Tango Charlie. With oh, correction, Tango Charlie Hotel. Direct to Big Piney VOR. Direct Dunwar VOR. Delta November Whiskey. Direct. Maintain one zero thousand. Expect level two three zero one zero minutes after departure. Oh, here comes the champagne van. Departure to frequency one two eight point one. Squawk five six four seven. Right. Taxi and now. Six nine Bravo is clear to Jackson. Salt Lake City for departure. Maps rack on devices uh, off. Tango, Charlie Hotel, then Big Piney, mm. then uh, Delta November Whiskey, I can't remember the name, and then can't direct the uh, 10,000 on departure, expect 23,010. Uh, 128.1 the frequency and 5646 the squawk 6 on a row. <sighs> wow. Well, what'd you think? How'd we do, huh? Pretty, uh, pretty big day. Pretty big day, I gotta tell ya. But I ain't mad. Um, I feel like it was uh, pretty good all around. Had a couple of little surprises here and there. Uh, but uh, took care of almost everything that was needed, except for the unusual attitudes bit. And uh, two non-precision approaches, one circling, did one partial panel, did one hole of green needles, did a whole new procedure turn on uh, pink needles. Went ahead and did a precision approach using the LPV. And uh, was able to uh, keep, my, keep my head, dealt with a couple of autopilot failures on the way, dealt with a couple of autopilots, not let's call it failures, but like doing things that shouldn't have been doing on the way, some surprises, some weird headwinds and crosswinds that were messing with us. Overall, felt pretty good about it, and it's just nice to keep the skills up. Thanks for staying with me through a uh, two-hour flight. I think that's pretty much how it's going to be in the real world. So we're looking for end of this month, end of February track ride, and we'll just stay proficient. We'll try to get you a couple of shots from the cockpit uh, as we do some more flying in the real world as we get ready for this, but uh, a little more sim time coming up here in the near future and uh, glad to have you with us today thanks so much for joining hope you had a great time see ya